The Mitten by Jan Brett. The Mitten. A Ukrainian folktale. This is a note from the author. I hope you take a moment to read it and understand why she wrote this book. With special thanks to my Ukrainian friend. Once there was a boy named Nikki who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm, just the right size, so he decided to stay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for the both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Oh my goodness, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of room in there. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten to warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, not being ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. I wouldn't argue with someone covered in prickles either. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl attracted by the commotion swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they decided to move over. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. But there, there was no room left. But when they saw his big diggers, they gave him the thumbs up to come on in. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of a cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Oh my goodness, look how big it's getting. I don't know if there's any more room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out on the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as they could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? I wouldn't argue with a bear. They have got really big claws. The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and budged too many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Whew, okay, I don't think anything else can fit. Do you think so? Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Uh, uh, achoo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all sorts of directions. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. 
It was his lost mitten silhouetted in the blue sky. As he ran to catch the snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. <laughs> he almost didn't make it. Oh my goodness, Papa is confused. Can you tell why she's confused? What's going on with the mittens? What happened? <laughs> the end.